preach, we are to teach, we are to fight. So where you lead me, I will go. Touch my lips by your strength, I will go. I will go. Father and Savior Jesus Christ, again we stop by here, we arrive because of your mercy and your grace to proclaim your holy name. Touch us, almighty Father, give us the strength from on high. We pray, Lord, at this time that you will be with us and may the Spirit continue to fill this entire place. We bless those in the homes and in the street, shops, or wherever they might be, and may your word go forth. Lord, touch us even now. Forgive us our sins, O oh God. Open up our eyes. Open up our hearts and minds to receive thy word, we pray in Christ's name. Amen.
that was a blessed experience. You had all sort of different stuff tonight. Amen? But I just want to say and to thank everyone for those who have um, took part for the bravery and to demonstrate talent in Jesus' name. To those in your home, we still saying to come on down because the price and the price is right in Jesus Christ. Amen? Amen? So we are so grateful and thankful to God for his wonderful showers of a blessing. And so, so that was the breaking news. I arrived here and the, and the, and the ground wet. <laughs> Amen? That is a blessing that we have received. And so, tonight, we want to, I want to speak to you on what topic? Can someone recall the topic for tonight? That's what? My right. That's my right. And tomorrow night's topic will be titled, We Liquor, but we Tarawa. Oh. We Liquor, but we Tarawa. Hmm. That's tomorrow night's sermon. So be it. Don't miss it. You're going to miss something. And so I joined with um, the previous person, Sister Angel, and just welcome to all our guests Amen. and those in the home. Rida, we ready? Yes. Right. And the line guys, I see that they are ready in Jesus' name. So that's my right. If you look on the screen, you will observe that. There is an inter international agreement for child rights, Rida. So, Rida, let's take it. In 1989, uh -huh. world leaders made a historic commitment to the world's children by adopting the United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. The United Nations Convention on the Rights of the Child. child. Mm -hmm. An international agreement on childhood consists of 42 articles, each of which details a different type of right. They have in it 42 different articles. Hmm. Yeah. It seeks what? It seeks a pledge to establish global standards to ensure that the protection, survival, and development of all children without discrimination. And so it speaks to protect them in terms of um, in the economy, from sexual exploitation, mm -hmm. violence, abuse, uh, and the right to what? Education, decent what? Living. Living, health care what? And what, Rita? Nationality, Hearing and, what? and parental care. So they're saying that children need those rights. Are you agreeing? Yes. Are you agreeing? Absolutely. They need those rights. Yeah. So, but it is said here, that, let's take it, Rita. It is up to our generation mm -hmm. to demand that leaders from governments, businesses, and communities. So the saying here is up to leaders mm -hmm. from where? Government, government, business, and what? Communities. And our communities to fulfill their what? Commitments and take action for child rights now, once and, and for, for all. all. Mm -hmm. They must commit to making sure every child has every right. They must commit that every child have that right. Hmm. Yeah. So, is this convention right? <laughs> is this convention right? In my research, someone has said, uh, others have what, Rita? Others have contended that the convention is anti-family. Take a pause. They're saying that the convention could be anti-family. Hmm. Mm -hmm. And that ratifying it would undermine the freedom of parents to raise and discipline their children. These opponents have characterized the convention as a blank check for government intervention within the home. When I saw that, my mind go back to what is happening today. Hmm. Children, today, they actually 
fighting with the parents. Yeah. Because they tell themselves they have more right than the parents. Right. And the government laws become so twisted and bended and corrupt that well, we ain't have it here so bad yet. No. Yet. But in but in in America and England, mm. you, if you go and you pull the bed on the child, problems. The police coming for you. Yes, sir. I understand that um, at one time the parent went to the grocery store with the child. And the child behaved bad. The mother said, eh? Hey, okay. One pinch on the, on the child. Yes, sir. Because sometimes they have to have they have to learn behavior. So she said, well, go and call the police now. Discipline. Not abuse, because sometimes we get confused and we tell ourselves no, no belt, nothing, and let them have their free way. Mercy. Don't abuse the children. No. Sometimes we abuse them. Sometimes we beat them and all sort of stuff. But you must, <laughs> you must discipline your, your child. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, there's a set of what? International, International standards. standards for the protection and promotion of human rights. I, I move from the children's rights to human, right. human rights. Let's take it, Rita. Nine co-treaties are the International Convention on the Elimination of All Forms of Racial Discrimination, the International Covenant on Economic, Social, and Cultural Rights, the International Covenant on Civil and Political Rights, the Convention on the Elimination of All Forms oh, no, of Discrimination Against Women. Mm -hmm. The Convention Against Torture and Other Cruel, Inhumane, or Degrading Treatment or Punishment. The Convention on the Rights of the Child. The International Convention on the Protection of the Rights of All Migrant Workers and Members of Their Families. The Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. And lastly, the International Convention for the Protection of All Persons from Enforced Disappearance. That is plenty rights. <laughs> Everybody have a, All right. a right. I mean, come on now. Racial one, um, um, woman and, and, and child. And that's a lot of rights from the UN. So, to me, to me, the world seems to be having a right headache right. or a right problem right. or a right sickness. Oh boy. Everybody have rights. Hmm. And I, in my mind, I'm thinking the world has gone sick and they have a headache with rights. So, everyone is right. And everyone once they right they're right so so the children want the right to add jesse everybody want the rights mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> even our planet one it rights too from the environment climate change thing huh? <laughs> even <laughs> even the gays want the right women one day right. And I'm saying here, I'm saying here, if you look at it, USA and wherever, women have real right. Yeah. One. Children have real rights. Yeah. And then they have real rights. Yeah. Talk about America. Yeah, right. Dogs have a lot of rights. Animals have real Come on now. Animals have real rights. And who have no right? Man have no right. They born with it, Pastor. Do man what you want. Child and elderly, whatever, and animals. Man have no right. Come on now. A dog have more right than a man. No here. Something wrong with us. So we come. So we come. Something wrong. I, I'm saying here. I'm saying here that that women and elderly and children, are, of course, they need the right, but they, they rule on man, or they look good. <laughs> and the world tell itself, well, climate change. So 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 the world wants its rights too. 
Il y a où il y en aura qu'un à défendre. The Lord says the issue of privacy, which is a good one, because today you can you can squawk the phones on you. Hmm. You have no privacy. They even have laws to say, well, you should not just just um, video someone and send it onli um, online because you could be in trouble. All where you pass, all where you go, there's a camera on you. So they have some laws trying to protect that. But it could be a good thing because there are times there are criminals, uh, criminals out there and we need to catch them on the camera. So it could be a good thing, privacy rights. But what is troubling? What is troubling? Uh, what is troubling here tonight? In the preacher mind, <laughs> no one is wrong. No. Nope. And everybody is right. That's troubling. Yeah, hmm. yeah. Don't trouble it. Don't trouble it. That is troubling. Don't everybody can be right. No. Except, except you are following the word of God. Amen. Amen. Make Come it straight. On now, Come on now. Every person believe that what they are doing is right. Yeah. Well, even in the house of God, You're right. that we still be right. right. The pastor can't tell the member nothing. Right. About the dress, they're right. right. Tight and short, they're right. right. The pastor say, well, only come in a little late. Let me write, I can come late. And at times in, in church, don't sit in somebody's seat. That's my right. That's my, that's my seat day. Uh -oh. They pay for that, they say. So, so when, what, where, oh, why, how, where all this thing about the right started from? All of this thing was right and right and right. When did it and where did it start from? Let's take it in the screen, reader. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 1. Question. Where all this started and by whom? Reader, let's go. Now the serpent was more subtle than the any. The serpent. That's, hello, that's the key word there. The serpent or Satan or the devil or the evil one. Hello, come on now. Or the scalawag or the thief or the deceiver. That's the key word there, the serpent. Mm -hmm. Now the serpent was more subtle than any beast of the field which the Lord God had made. And he said unto the woman, Yea, hath God said, Ye shall not eat of every tree of the garden? We're back in answer to one time. One time. The devil started to tell Eve, You have a right. Hmm. God said, Do not, do not. The devil appeared and he told her, Yeah, God said, He shall not eat of every tree of the garden, questioning that. So he put it, put it in her mind, you have a right. That's why you got kicked out in the first place. But I will tell you about, more about it. Let's go. The evil one, it was sent to Eve. That is your right. Genesis yeah. chapter 2 and verse 17. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. He, he trying to infiltrate the process. Chapter 3 and verse 4. And the serpent said unto the woman, Ye shall not surely die. He telling the woman, Don't worry about, about that statement. Just do it. That is your right. Don't worry. You shall not surely die. Mercy. That old liar. Mm -hmm. What's right? Come on now. Come on now. Take, just say right there. I show you from creation, the devil put this thing in people's mind you have a right yeah. you have a right and so so Eve, Eve the Bible said that Eve was deceived don't talk to the devil no don't read the books don't watch the videos and don't listen to his music mm -hmm. he's going to mess you up upside down crossway Backside. Be careful. 
question, question. What right did the evil one wanted? I showed you how he infiltrated Eve, but in his own mind, he had a problem with right things too. Let's take it, reader. Isaiah chapter 14, 12 to 15. Mm -hmm. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Uh -huh. O Lucifer. At first he was, he was Lucifer. <laughs> Brilliant. But his brain got swell-headed and big. Yes. In local terms, you know. And Lucifer, Lucifer has a right problem in his head. Mm -hmm. Go on, reader. Son of the morning. How art thou cut down to the ground, which didst weaken the nations? Mm -hmm. But thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. Hear this, hear this. The right man have an eye problem. Hmm. He feels that he is right, he feels that he is I am. So it's a whole pile of I, 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 I. Hmm. I. I will ascend into heaven. Mm -hmm. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Uh -huh. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. 14. I will ascend above the heights of the cloud. I will be like the most high. Yet, Yet. thou on shall on. be brought down to hell Come on to the sides of the pit. Yet! Yet! He had a problem. He wanted. Huh? He wanted to have his own, but to exalt himself above the throne of God. Mercy. He want God's throne. Crazy. Mercy. He had a problem. Yeah. And, he, and he brain, he think he right. Hmm. Tie up. He want to be like the Mosai. Mercy. Huh? And, and, and all in his mind is up. I will ascend heaven up. He brain sick. Yeah. Huh? But God said to him, yet thou shalt be brought down, down to heaven. To he wants to go up, but he's a he's a king prince sinner, master sinner. No, no up for you. Down, down, fire, brimstone, down. God saying, "Hello, you have a right problem. I go, I go, I go deal with you. Yes, shall thou be brought to hell to the size of the pit? Because Satan, that done with you. He done. He done." What did he do? Trying to get the so he in his mind he wanted to be like the Mosai. So what did he do? Let's read it, reader. Revelation chapter 12, 7 to 8. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels. Take a pause. Yeah, Take a pause. The devil, Satan, decided that I will, I will, I will fight. I will fight. But I'm sent to you here. He in the mind said, hello, I will create war. Hmm. I will burn the throne. Hmm. Read that, continue. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. Mm -hmm. And the dragon fought and his angels. Uh -huh. But, but, what? And prevailed not. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. Even if he, he, even if the warmonger, the devil is a warmonger. He like war and fighting. Hmm. He's a war monger. He like war. But even if he like war, Michael come on, and the angels, hello, they had an encounter. And eventually he can prevail. No. Nope. And prevail not. And neither was there a place from any more in heaven. He got kicked out. Mm -hmm. And so tell yourself, I'm going to affect the earth. Right. Remember? Let's, let's sometimes go back to help us. Remember his what? Audacity. His bonus. Hmm. One. Luke chapter 4, 6 to 7. And the devil said unto him, All this power will I give thee, and the glory of them. For that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will, he I give his, it. He tell himself that man, that he have a right. Remember Jesus and the temptation in the wilderness, encounter the devil, and the devil saying, I have a right. He's saying that, that all power is given unto, 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 is given I, and all this power will, will I, I give, give thee, thee. Mm -hmm. and the glory of them, for that is delivered unto me, and to whomsoever I will give it, he feel right. Hmm. But the Bible says, but if God says, if thou, therefore, he saying sorry. He saying the devil said, "If thou therefore will worship, worship 
All shall be done. That's the key word here, worship. Hmm. That's what he wants. He is claiming the ultimate right of worship. Mm -hmm. Worship no other person but God amen. and God alone. Come on, everybody mm -hmm. say amen now. Amen. He is claiming worship, but we must always and all time worship our Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So, what was Jesus' response? Luke chapter 4 and verse 8. Mm -hmm. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Get thee behind me. Come on, Satan. come on, come on, come on, reader, come on, reader, come on, reader. And Jesus answered and said unto him, Come on, come on now. Get, Get thee, thee behind me, Satan. Move away. For it is written, Belong. Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Right there and then, he got the word. And God said, hello, thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and only him shalt thou, what? Serve. Serve. Friends, what right do we have? Question. Question. What right? What right do we have? Let's take it. Revelation chapter 14 and verse 7. Mm -hmm. Saying with a loud voice. To do what? Fear God mm -hmm. and give glory to him mm -hmm. for the hour of his judgment is come. And what? And worship him. And what? And worship him. And what, Rita? And worship, worship him, him. Uh -huh. that made heaven and earth and the sea and the fountains of waters. That's all right. Amen. That's all right. Mm -hmm. To worship God. Amen. That's Jesus. our right. Amen. Come on, everybody. Say amen. amen. Say amen. amen. Because we have a right to worship God, our creator. Amen. Sometimes we joke around and we want to give give persons apart from God. But God is saying, worship. I have a text in my head, you know. Tell us. Isaiah chapter 43 and verse 7. Why should we worship God? Read that. Turn to the Bible and, and, and turn to the book of Isaiah. Mm -hmm. Isaiah chapter 43. And verse 7, because the question is, we should worship God, but I'm giving you a backup text. Come on. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 43 and verse 7 says, read up. Even everyone that is called by my name, mm -hmm. for I have created him for, for my, my glory. I have what? I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. That's why, come on now. That's why we must worship God. Lord. The Bible says it. Even everyone mm -hmm. that is created, uh, that is called, sorry, by, by my name, name mm -hmm. for I have created him for my glory. Mm -hmm. I have formed him. Yea, I have made him. Mm -hmm. Don't be rebellious. Don't be bad mind. Come on, God died for you. Yes. He made you. He loves you. What? Worship uh, God and God alone. True. Not no man. No, polit no politician. Hello. No woman. Hello. No priest. No pastor. Come on. Only King Jesus. Yes. Come on, there was a guy. There was a French philosopher. Right? Mm. Rita, let's go. Take it for us. He was what? His <laughs> name was what? Voltaire. Uh -huh. he, he just damned Christianity. Mm -hmm. He said all kind of bad things about Christianity. Till the day he died. Let's go, Rita. In 1764, he wrote, The Bible, that is what fools have written, what imbeciles commend, what rogues teach, and young children are made to learn by heart. We are living in the twilight of Christianity. Oh, you see. In a 1767 letter to Frederick the Great, King of Prussia, he wrote, Christianity is the most ridiculous, the most absurd and bloody religion that has ever infected the world. In his brain, he the don't care about God. And he a right to see what he wants to see. But listen, listen, read a ticket. Voltaire's prediction that the Bible would not be read in a century. He said that the Bible would not, that's the time around the, the Bible would be printed, right? Mm -hmm. Around that time. And he said the Bible would not be um, 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 read in a century. 
in his voluminous writings against Christianity and the Holy Bible, predicted in 1776, he said, 100 years from my day, there will not be a Bible on earth except one that is looked upon by an antiquarian curiosity. Hear what happened. He's curiosity. He said that, but hear what happened. Mm -hmm. So uh, let's, let's go back, let's go back. So this is the citation. Mm -hmm. It's there to follow. Let's go. So hear what he said, and hear what, hear, hear, hear this. He's saying that the Bible will be, will be finished and that nothing, nothing will have happened. But hear this, read, read on. Only 58 years after his death, uh -huh. the former home of Voltaire. The former what? Home. His home. His mm -hmm. own house. Read that one. In Geneva, Switzerland, was indeed serving as a storehouse what? for holy what? Bibles. In his own house now. Mm -hmm. He gone. He gone. In his own home was used to store Bibles mm -hmm. and some form of printing in his own home. And not only that, but it was used to print his irreverent works, was used to print Bibles. <laughs> so what he had used to print all the, all the irreverent work was not printing the holy word of God. Hmm. While the Evangelical Society of Geneva did not actually purchase the house, Henry Trochin, president of the society, resided in the house and used some of the rooms to store Bibles which Voltaire so vehemently opposed and prophesied Christianity's downfall. Yes, an ironic twist of divine providence. All you get that? Don't play with God. Be careful what, what, you, what you're saying. Mm -hmm. The devil lost, he might have gone somewhere and, and he was in trouble. The Bible shall always prevail. Amen. So, let's, let me go on now to, to, to our next right. I just tell you, you have a right to worship God. Amen. Amen. You also have a right to pray. Yeah. But sometimes I'm, uh, we're, not, we're not praying. Uh -oh. Pray is powerful. Amen. And we have a right to pray. Amen. Let's go. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16. Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. Praise the Lord. Amen. My God, my Redeemer, He said that we can come in our prayers to the throne of grace anytime. boldly, mm -hmm. with a humble heart mm -hmm. at any time. Yeah. Hello, morning, noon, noon. Yeah. midnight. Early morning. Hello, come on now. Mm -hmm. Anytime we can go and call to, we can be on a bus spray. Yeah. Washing waste spray. Mm -hmm. Cooking spray. Yeah. School praying. Yeah. Now we enter into exam time. Yeah. And we should be praying too. Yeah. Praying be no. <laughs> so when exam comes, you will pass. Pray and what? Study. So at everywhere, at all time, we should be a praying people. All the crime and the violence that we're experiencing, we have to just pray more and pray them out in Jesus' name. Oh, yes. When you talk and pray, but we pray, read let's, let's go. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and ye shall have them. Have faith. Amen. And pray. Mm -hmm. And don't just pray and say a pray and God will take care of it. Pray and walk too. Mm -hmm. Do your part. You want a job? Don't just pray and say, well, the job will come. No. Pray. Send out application. Yeah. Do thing. Do thing. Mm -hmm. So why do you why do you pray and God see well? I go help him out. I'm saying here, I'm saying here, do the possible. Why is God will do the impossible? Amen. So mm. prayer is just possible for us as human beings. Mm. But, then, but then my God will do, will do the impossible. So when you pray and you want something and, and you don't know how or where or no money, trying in trouble, you have no clothes to put on your back, whatever it is, and you, that might seem to be impossible. Just pray and God will do it for you. Amen. You know, there's a book called Step to Christ. Oh, yes. Powerful book. Mm -hmm. I think some of you got that book and we should probably, if you have more, give it out. Uh, Step to Christ. 
speaks about there's a chapter that speaks about the privilege of prayer. Mm -hmm. Read that ticket for us. I just give a quote there. And and and, and the, the writer is um E.G. White. Prayer is the opening of the heart to God as to a friend. Mm -hmm. Not that it is necessary in order to make known to God what we are, but in order to enable us to receive him. Amen. Take a pause. Take a pause. Prayer. Prayer. When you be pray, it's not just to receive things, but to receive Jesus Christ. Amen. Because sometimes, sometimes we forget. I'm really begging, 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 begging. Straight. Give me this, give me this, give me this. We pray, and all we pray for is a begging prayer. Hmm. But nobody says, Lord, come into my heart. Hmm. Come into my heart, Lord Jesus. All we say is, give me, give me, give me, give me. But who prayed and telling God, come into my prayer is that we draw closer to Jesus Christ. So when trouble come in, mm -hmm. we know that we are in a safe spot. Continue reading. Prayer what? Prayer does not bring God down to us, uh -huh. but brings us up to him. Praise the Lord. Prayer is said by someone, the world is, <laughs> is the world's greatest wireless, wireless connection. connection. Amen? Amen. You don't need no, no flow. Mm -mm. I'm not digital. Come on now. I'm not iPhone. Come on now. Come on. Come on, people. All you want is a heart and say, Lord, hear me. That's all. And that prayer transcending the way. What? You gone up to Jesus Christ. Through the Holy Spirit. That's all you want. I'm not long, long prayer, long prayer. You're tired. That's all you can pray. Lord, help me. Save me. And you're, and you're good to go. We have another special right, hmm. a privilege that we must all pursue and fight for or seek after. A privilege, what? Right? It's a special right, mm -hmm. advantage, or what? Or immunity. immunity. Granted what? Or available only to a particular person or group. So, let's, let's get it. Let's take it. We have a privilege and a right to the tree of life. Amen. Amen. Text. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, mm -hmm. that they may have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. The point here is you have a right to worship, a right to pray, mm -hmm. and a right to the tree of life. But, but there are conditions. Mm. Their conditions, and it is saying, yeah, "Blessed are they that do His commandments." Condition. Some of us we want Jesus, but we don't want to have no commitment. Hmm. We want the easy way out, and this thing about the law, commandment, too much of restrictions and burden. There ain't no burden here. The Lord ain't no burden. No. I am here. I'm happy in Jesus. Come on now. Amen. Burden what? Huh? Eh? The Bible says, the Bible says, blessed are they that do his commandments. Mm -hmm. Because they have right. 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 That's a real right. That's no gay right. No. Not to a black man banging up. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Woman, come on now, come on now. Mm. And they feel that right. But God love them still. Come on, don't get tired up, don't get tired up. God love the gay man. God love the lesbian. God love the rich man, the poor man, the beggar man, the thief. God love all of them. But God does not like the sin. No. Go on, preacher. Somebody missed it. They will go and see the preacher. I'm speaking hate stuff. No hate stuff here. God loves everybody. Mm, he said so. But he don't like our sin. No. Come on now. Pulling gun like, like, like in a Western movie. Mm. Eh? Thiefing, lying. Come on now. Eh? Robbing in all kind of forms. God don't like that. No, but he loves you because he died for you. Mm. But you must come to repentance. So now it's time for restoration. That's your right. Go on, reader. Genesis chapter 3 and verse 22. And the Lord God said, Behold, the man is become as one of us, to know good and evil. 
And now, lest he put forth his hand and take also of the tree of life and eat and live forever. I put that text there because I'm saying that God wants to have the restoration because because Eve and Adam, hey, no, with the devil thought they had it right and they mess up big time. They have it nice. But someday, someday, Christ will come back and we'll have a right to the tree of life. Therefore, therefore, the ultimate right is what? Eternal life. Read that one. Amen. John 10.10. 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. Praise the Lord. Next text. John 3.16. Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world mm -hmm. that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I'm saying to all of us, you have a right to everlasting life. Mm -hmm. That's your right. Don't let the devil stick it away. Don't let the devil do that. Or some, some boyfriend or some girlfriend. Come on, eh? Come on now. Come on, preacher. The devil does take away our right to eternal life. Mm -hmm. Because he's spending years in common law. Yes, must be obedient to God's word. Yes, in corruption. Addiction. Yes, not keeping the whole, the God's holy word, the commandment and the law. So, we have that right. In order to have and to say, that's my right, the best right to have, what must we do? Let's go. So, do this. To have the ultimate right. Now let's go. Jude 19 to 22. Mm -hmm. These be they who separate themselves. Sensual having not the spirit. But ye beloved. Building up yourselves on your most holy faith. Uh -huh. Praying in the Holy Take Ghost. Take a pause. I'm saying to you. To have eternal life. Don't be sensual. I mean sen sensual. I'm, I'm, I'm in terms of, 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 of kind of morality. Hmm. Come on now. Don't go that route. You must be, don't be carnal. Be in the spirit. Mm -hmm. In the Holy Spirit. He said, he said, but he beloved, building up yourself on your most holy faith of Jesus Christ. Praying in the Holy Spirit. Go on. Keep yourselves in the love of God. Mm -hmm. Looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. Praise the Lord. And of some, have compassion, making a difference. Amen. Have love mm -hmm. in your heart. You know we just say, well, all they want love. That's not true. Yeah. I am here because of love. I am here. Mm. And who here don't want, don't want, don't want to have love? That's that, that your business. There is, the, 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 come on now. You might find one person alone who haven't loved in church. In a whole church, church of 200. That's all right. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Have. You have one still. Yeah. But you, you see, sometimes, sometimes, sometimes we love to, he don't have love, and she don't have love, and they have love. Do you have love? Take a while and, and put, it, put it into your brain. Question, you always want to bash someone else. Bash yourself too now. Mm. Start with yourself now. Mm. And you go see the thing clearer. And stop talking about who have love. You have love. Come to church. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Attend the meetings. Give the pastor some money. <laughs> Okay, I guess to catch your attention. Come, come on now. Come on now. Come on, preacher. I mean, have love and do things for Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. And stop complaining and looking at everybody else's fault. Look at your fault first. Yeah. Have compassion one to another. So, do this to have the ultimate right, reader. Revelation chapter 22 and verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they may have right to the tree of life. And what? And may enter in through the gates into the city. To get into heaven, you must keep the commandments. Amen. Don't get tired. Bible preacher. Don't get deceived. Bible. 
come on out and get into heaven. Everybody wants to go to heaven, but nobody wants to keep the commandment. Some don't want to die to blur yourself about that one. Everybody, they want happiness. They want joy. They want nice things. Because they, heaven is nice. Nice not because of no, no kind of street of gold. But heaven, man, because of Jesus Christ, will be there for everlasting life. Come on now. But to get to heaven and to enter into the gates into the city Jerusalem. Come on now. New heaven, new earth. Keep the commandments of God. You see, the law of man is not balanced and in right. Come on now. Man law in balance and in right. I told you so already. Don't get tired. They love jelly innocent. Come on now. And and free the <laughs> Lord of mercy and free the guilty. Come on now. Yes, happen. Yes, happen. The law tie up twisting. And who they be on the law? They say following God. Some of them, some of them, they say following God. So they in bal And this similarity is a scale. What scale? But the law of God is perfect mm -hmm. and pure mm -hmm. and, and clean. clean. It purifies, it cleanses. Come on now, come on now, come on, somebody. The law of God is not the law of man. It's perfect, it's pure, it's clean, it purifies, it cleanses. Come on now, somebody say amen. No, come on now. I alone may say amen. Yeah, if only want to say amen. Against some amen, don't blur yourself. That's my right to keep because come on, Lord reader, let's take it. Psalm nineteen seventy eight. Mm -hmm. The law of the Lord is perfect. Not my words. The Bible saying that. Hmm. The Bible saying that. Not my words. The Bible is saying that. I preach the Bible. Yeah. And the Bible alone. Amen. I preach truth. To proclaim the name of Jesus Christ in this GPS, the Gospel Proclamation Series. The Lord, the Lord is perfect mm -hmm. to do what? Converting the soul. Convert the soul to change the sinner man, the sinner woman, the boy, the girl into, into a saint. Mm -hmm. That's what the law of God does. What? The testimony of the Lord is sure. It's sure. It's sure. Mm -hmm. No, no, there's there no if and but there. It is sure. And what? Make Making wise the simple. Uh -huh. The statutes of the Lord are right. Right. It's what? It's rising the heart. And we try in the heart. Uh -huh. The commandment of the Lord is pure. Praise the Lord. Enlightening the eyes. Some of us with blind eye. We eye open wide, but we can't see still. Hmm. But when you when you when you have the commandment of God, whether your eye close or not, hello, come on now. You are real right in Jesus Christ. You're pure. Be clean to enjoy this right. I, I, I told you, I just mentioned about the issue of blessed that they that keep his commandments. But here, what a different translation of sin. It's so nice. We that take it first. The same, the same text. Believers who keep themselves clean will be happy. They are like people who always wash their clothes. I will let them eat the fruit from the tree that causes people to have true life. Amen. I will let them go through the gates into the city. Wash your clothes. When you're in Christ and come on now, you see the believers the be, who keep, the believers who keep themselves clean will be happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, sometimes people are clothes piling up there all kind of time. Mercy, Lord. But if you wash your clothes and a little bleach and well, they stop use blue, they use blue, um, blue still. Yes. Mm -hmm. I like a blue thing and you, and, you, and you put on the line and it's nice and clean. Come on, the God said you can be even whiter than that yeah. when you're keeping his commandments. Amen. Pure. And not your own righteousness, no. but just Jesus' righteousness. Not your own clothes or your cloak, but his cloak of righteousness. Yeah. That's my right. Jesus is saying, come, 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 Cor um, choristers, come. <laughs> Christ is saying, come, come, and claim it. We not take it. Revelation 22 and verse 17. 
And the spirit and the bride say come. Mm -hmm. One come. And let him that heareth say come. Two. And let him that is a thirst Three. come. Mm -hmm. And whosoever will, let him take the water of life freely. I'm saying, that is your right. Tim, that's my last slide. I'm saying that is your right. God is saying to come. And if you, if you miss one come, he give you three, he give you three times. He didn't just double it, he triple it up three times and say, come. Because God understands that, that there's a great need to be on the right side, which is Jesus' side, and not the devil's side, which is the wrong side. That's why he said, come. He said, he said the spirit and the bride say, come. Let him that what? Have you heard tonight? Have you heard tonight? And for those who have been here from since this thing started, eh, going, on, going on almost a week and a half now, have you heard from all the nights? Eh? And, and, and God said, and let him not have that is a, a thirst. Are you thirsty for God's word? Somehow they're thirsty for cocaine and marijuana. Thirsty for sex. We all wake up, all you. You see the real thing here, yeah, real thing. Some of the thirsty for drugs. For alcohol. Morning do not make the wonder room. And some thirsty for man and woman. Thirsty, thirsty. Some thirsty for money. The more they want, the more they have. Some thirsty for being gone. And their crews. And carnival. Old mass and job. They're thirsty. They have a longing for it. Question. Do you have a longing for Jesus Christ? Are you thirsty for life everlasting? Are you doing one the tree of life? Sing, sing, sing.
right till life everlasting. Please stand to your feet. I'm going to pray in a little while. Stand to your feet if you're, if you're saying, Preacher, by God's grace, I will keep the commandments and, and follow the Bible and so I can gain life everlasting. I'm saying to someone out there, someone, our, one of our guests, our guests, let me speak to our guests tonight. You see, every night I leave here, I must leave here but in my mind that I've done my best and I've given somebody the, ch the chance to accept Jesus Christ. So I'm saying, is there anyone willing to walk to the altar for prayer tonight? To say, preacher, pray for me so I can gain eternal life. Any of our guests tonight in under this, this, this tent. For those in, in your homes who have heard, I'll pray for you too. I cannot see you, but God is seeing you. There might be somebody in the street, somebody at the shop, wherever you are, God is seeing you, and I'm, I'm praying for you too. That you in your own space will say, Lord, help me to gain the right to eternal life. For all our brethren here, for those online, I'm saying that pray and ask God to help you to gain life everlasting. You have a right to worship God, to, to pray, to, to read your Bible and all these things, but, but ultimately, a right to be with Jesus Christ. Don't let Satan make you end up in hell. I'm saying before, as I pray, you can still step out. You can step out still and try the three of them at the front. As I pray, you can still move for Jesus. I'm about to kneel and pray. Oh Lord, we praise you continually for there is none other who deserve our praise but you alone, God. You are the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. You are from everlasting to everlasting there, God. You are creator and also redeemer. Lord, tonight, I thank you for the three persons who have stepped forth saying that they want the right to eternal life. Lord, I pray for them that you will keep them you will see them. Lord, there are other guests tonight that for some reason they are a little bit probably timid. But in their heart, they want that right to everlasting life. I pray for them too. Lord, we all praying for them that someday, and not just someday, now is the day of salvation. At this time, they will make a decision right now accept Jesus Christ and claim that right to worship you and the right to eternal life and the right to the tree of life. I pray for all the members who are here and by extension who probably, you know, somewhere else, but I pray for all the members of the Concord and Grand Royal Church that you will hold them together, hold all of us together as pastor of this churches. I pray, oh Lord, that you'll hold all of us together and may we Claim that right to everlasting life by keeping your commandments. I pray for those in the home, in the street, shop, or wherever, that I pray for them that they'll be saved. But to be saved, they have to, the Lord, do and keep your commandments. They have to surrender, repent, which is to change the way of, of living if it's not in harmony with your word, and come to Jesus. Help us to have a passion and a thirst and a longing and a desire to meet with you, the Lord. Help us to claim that right that you have shed your blood for us. You have died, but you didn't just remain in the tomb, but you was resurrected and you are present interceding for us so that we 
through the Holy Spirit, our prayers can reach and you can hear our prayers and we can be saved. Lord, touch us and save us when you come. And as we go on our various paths, protect us and keep us safe and bring us back again tomorrow night to hear your word, dear Lord. Not my word, but your word so that someone can make the wise, a wise, the best decision, which is to follow Jesus Christ. Lord, touch someone again and help us to gain life everlasting in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay.